Dead guy. I need to get in. Oh. Anyway, I'm a member of the church in Ocean Park, and they have these, uh, they own the whole block on one side over here. It's only three properties. So there's three different styles of garden, and, and the thing was to get it to be sustainable and uh, regional. It's like a, a native plants, and I like growing food and flowers, which takes a little more water. So the first garden we're coming up on used to be a cactus garden until it all rotted away because we're so close to the ocean. Mm. The cactus really couldn't handle the fog. Yeah, it comes really, in a lot here. It's very moist here. I guess we're like two blocks from the beach. So this is it, the church in Ocean Park. Here's the garden, part of the garden. And uh, you wouldn't know it, but there's arugula growing there. So you could go and pick that and eat that. I can smell something amazing. Uh, yeah, this. And that's um, wild lavender. It's an endangered species. And, and the rain just made it all come up. And there's some... Uh, could you tell me just, just about gardening very simplistically and, you know... Oh, just put some seeds in the ground. Put some seeds in the ground and and sprinkle some water on them. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Well, there's, there's a million different styles of gardening. And with food, start with the food you like. Mm -hmm. Go get some seeds. You could start for, I started a garden for a dollar. You know? Yeah, well, it's. A dollar's worth. I'm sure seeds. it's very rewarding. All the, in there is mint. This is the Hill Street Center, owned by the church in Ocean Park. And this garden's a little wild because I, I gave up it. I gave it up. Someone, wanted to take over and they didn't they had a different style of gardening roses geraniums and stuff so but they're still all in there there's hidden treasures and this is this grew itself here this is like cosmos flowers it just they go nuts cosmos yeah that's cosmos why are they called that i don't know because it's like the cosmos look they just like look at this now here look at all those buds about to bloom and this was like from generations and generations of cosmos. They, they just plant themselves. There's a zillion seeds in here. There are probably really tiny seeds in there, the, the pollen and everything. So here's how I plant. I, <laughs> I take the deadheads, called deadheading, and then I go like that. It's guerrilla gardening. Just, you know, they plant themselves. After you first start, they plant themselves. And then this is where the minister lives in the parsonage. That's our minister. Mm -hmm. And her husband took over this garden, but Susan McCrory started. And then this stuff you have, well here in California, Southern California, you have year round gardening. So you have plants coming in, going out. This was a, a tomato plant that okay. was just grew itself in the compost heap. Decided yeah, just because you threw out so many tomatoes. Yeah, uh, and then it wasn't doing good, and then all of a sudden it started doing good. We had a lousy summer here with no sun. We had no sun all summer. We in had California? June bloom here. Pepper plants, kale. This you just keep picking and eating. Yeah, you eat it right out. That raw, cook it. Doesn't matter. Um, herbs. Um, looks like mint, but it's uh, lemon something. Now, do you think it's possible? Lemon mint? For people who, who aren't gardeners, people who you know have a nine to five job to create a garden that they oh, can fully yes. sustain from? Yes. How can we let them know? Oh about not that? not 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 fully sustain, but subsidize your your um, your food intake. I don't think anyone could really grow everything they eat because uh, even here, like the seasons change. I mean you, you can subsidize your food mm -hmm. and, but, but and like this is this is arugula. This was seeds that were just thrown in here in, in an old com composter mm -hmm. as a raised bed here because the soil, if your soil isn't that great, you just put compost or buy compost or make it and throw some seeds in there. This is some other seeds coming up. What are these? I'm not even sure what it is, but it's something probably edible. Onions over there mixed with sunflowers. You want to mix it up as much as possible. You don't want to monocrop. When, 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 when you monocrop, you monobug. Mm. You know, if you want to go sustainable and, and, and go organic, be natural and mix it up, it confuses the bugs. You have a few bugs here, a few bugs there. Like we have bugs here 
uh, some aphids and ants, but the a a ants make aphids, and it's okay. You yeah, know, you don't freak they out. They gotta you eat can, too. Yeah, you gotta. You don't freak out. Uh, a few bugs, and then if you had all one crop, you'd have tons more pests. And you would want pesticides. Yeah, and okay. then pepper plants. Look at the pepper hidden treasure. I'll be just a minute. And uh, <laughs> mustard, all kinds of herbs. Herbs have their good looking time and bad looking time, and they just keep coming back. They're perennials. Even this stuff, you think it's a weed, you could eat it. A weed is just a plant that's in the wrong place that's been stigmatized. It's a form of prejudice when you call a plant a weed. You know, like the PETA people for a uh, pro active against, you know, uh, discrimination against animals and animal rights, we have plant rights. <laughs> Absolutely. Bush, everybody's worried about trees. What about the bushes? And not the ex-presidents, the bushes, shrubs. <laughs> and kale, oh no, this is... Um, That's collards, right? Collard greens, so you knew what it was, collard greens. And so what if you have some snails eating it? You could wash that off and eat that all. You could pick, the more you pick this kind of stuff, because you don't uproot it, it just keeps growing back. Mm -hmm. until a point it bolts up and people want to rip it up, but then when it bolts up, that's when it makes the seeds. And then the plant may turn a little bitter, but it makes all these seeds, which is like miracles. It's like a zillion miracles, and then you just it just keeps going. Like this was just all seeds, leftover seeds from last time, um, mustard greens, spicy. So you, when I make salad, I pick a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's thyme over there, there's oregano, different type of oregano, some other herbs, parsley. Uh, lemon thyme, and you just pick all a little bit of everything. You don't even need salad dressing. Sal salad dressing is the biggest ripoff there is. Mm -hmm. And I just use a little bit of oil and vinegar, apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, natural olive oil, and that's all you really need. Because then you have this taste different. This is peppery, and everything has a different flavor. There's sage over there, rosemary, uh, curly jacks, um, is that kale? And just, you know, just and then other kind of kale, that's Russian red kale. This is curly blue kale. Mm. See, there's bugs in there, aphids and all. But you know what? Don't freak out. Don't panic. It's organic. Over there, some stream beans and exotic. A neighbor was into exotic uh, Indonesian food. Oh. We have uh, galinga ginger, some tomato baskets upside down. Galinga ginger, this stuff here is the galinga ginger that you would get in Tum Kai Kai and uh, Thai soups and stuff, a certain flavor, and stream beans, and there's other um, arugula there, and there's um, cilantro, all kinds of stuff. This is a little, you know, mix it up, and it's like hidden treasures. And over here, then I was playing with the seeds, and I just threw the extra seed pods down. I threw the extra seed pods down over here in the, you know, underneath the bush, and it all grew itself. And now this is what it's called bolting. This is arugula flowers. And that can come up here, and it's just gonna sustain itself. You know, become you know what someone what, what might call a weed, but it'll be sustainable. And I come and I pick when I'm hungry. I cook up some grain and I pick some of this stuff, and I'm 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 fat, I'm happy. Yeah, it's You know, I might have to buy a tomato, carrots. I did grow carrots, but you know, you don't you can't grow everything all the time. Mm -hmm. So you just. Comfort, go go to the garden and then go to the store for what you don't have. And, you know, I didn't even, like for four or five years, I, I hardly went to the store. I mean, very little. I, I mean, it was unbelievable how little I spent on food. And then when I went to the store, I was like, oh my God, look at these prices. Yeah. Why, you know, when a little bit of work, and you could do it with a nine to five job, a little bit of work in the morning, a couple hours here and there, depending on what you're, you know, as you do it, you, you grow in knowledge and it's a good thing. It is some work at some times. There's days you do put in a half a day, but that's about it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's and better just, than half a day of television. Or... Yeah, yeah, I gave up TV. <laughs> Who needs television when you could watch plants grow? And then with this big screen, that's my big screen. It's huge. <laughs> well, anyway, namaste. All right, thank you. Do you Plant have... a seed and bring back the, the, bring back the Eden, the garden. Bring back the garden, doesn't have to be Eden, but yeah, 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 yeah.